Hello, and welcome to a daily dose of Bonnie B for your spiritual body. Today, <clears throat> our music for meditation purposes is called Black Roses. This song was written, sung by, performed by Barrington Levy. It was published in May of 2010 by Sony Records. And all the rights to this music belongs to Sony. But for the purpose of our meditation today, we're going to take a listen to Black Roses by Barrington Levy. Let's check out the verses in this song. Let's talk about y'all. In my garden, says <clears throat> black black roses in my garden Whew. black roses special everybody can't grow black roses you know those black roses out there have weeds that have come up around the roots and choked them because God's garden of black roses hasn't been tended to. That's how come the weeds are choking them out. You know? So, because God's black roses are so special to God in this very special garden that he has, from all the things that we've been learning, I hope you picked up by now that you, my beloved, are this special garden. You are. Those of you who are watching, 
are the black roses in God's garden. <clears throat> Today, we're going to pick up on our scripture text where we left off the last time, um, which was chapter 37 in the book of Enoch, Jubilee, and Jasher. As, tra as written by Derek A. Shaver and translated by R. H. Charles. I've been flipping back and forth so on some of these videos you'll see we'll be learning about Enoch simultaneously and then I'll start adding in the original blacks to the Bible. Because I need you all to see yourselves in the Word of God. I need you all to <clears throat> understand that God is trying to reveal to us more and more as we move forward that this thing is real. The last time we studied that the word of Enoch was going to be passed down from children to children, nations to nations, generations to generations. It's a long time. We're going to move forward in Enoch's time so that we can understand why God had to give Enoch this word before the deluge because we're heading for the deluge at this point and I want to take you on this adventure for the deluge because this is the way God really intended for us to get it okay I know what I'm talking about may not appeal to a lot of people but that's okay because the word of God doesn't go out and come back void. So somebody out there is going to get what God got for them to get. It's not up to me whether or not you accept this word. But this is the word of God as given by Enoch. Who is seventh generation Adam. We went through that. You know. So on the video before this. But the point that I'm trying to make to you all is that. The knowledge that I'm feeding you is knowledge that's necessary. Although you may not feel like this is something that interests you, it should because it helps you understand who and where you are and what you're doing here. It helps, to, it helps you to understand where you really came from and what's getting ready to happen. Because the more and more I view my television, which is not that often, there are programs that are coming out more and more each day that are pointing to the fact that this thing is real. I saw a program the other day called the 4400. The reason I looked at this program, I'm not done looking at it yet, but this little mini-series is because the Spirit laid upon my heart that number 44. Travelers. Before I'd even looked at it, I knew it had something to do with travel. And I knew it had to do with dimensional travel. But the thing that got me about that show was just how close to the word of God they had depicted. And called it sci-fi. The concepts that I saw in what I have seen thus far in that programming correlate with the word of God. And what that told me was that the, the reality of God is so abstract that they had to call it sci-fi before people could even begin to wrap their mind around it. Because to actually believe that the things you see in sci-fi are true would scare the shit out of y'all. But the strange part to all that is there's more fact than fiction. Because like I've said before, if Hollywood got it, it's probably already happening. As a matter of fact, not probably. It is already happening. And they are imitating life. They're showing you life as an imitation. Did you get that? They are imitating life 
but showing you life as an imitation. That's called the trick. That's the matrix. Because God still found a way for his message to get out through Safa. Because the believer knows how to separate fact from fiction. Because your Holy Ghost endows you in all thy ways. So I'm trying to get you all to wrap your mind around the fact that you are immortals. And you need to pay attention to what God is giving you so that you don't miss it. The main character in that show, his name is Sean. Those of the you who are familiar with who Bonnie B is will understand why I said that. But moving forward, um, <clears throat> we're going to go forward in the word of prayer. And um, ask God to endow us and help us to understand and to see what it is that he has for us to see. Help us to accept his word and to learn of him so that we do not make the mistakes of the past. Because right now, we're full blown. In the door. I mean, we ain't just in tribulation. We done popped the door open and stepped in the first little cubicle, little square in the little walkway going towards God we stepped in the first cubicle of tribulation we have hit that Indiana Jones first panel and it released something it released adverse, we adverse weather it released multiple death it, re it released a lot of tribulation activity if you look in your book of revelation in the book of revelation in your regular everyday bible that's why i'm teaching from enoch so you can see how god really meant for the thing to go down because god said <clears throat> he's always been there he's solely in charge he ain't got no help you don't need no help he is the soul, everything is subjected to him. Everything. You, me, the universe, the stars, the sky, the moon that pops out at night, whether or not a planet remains or disappears, whether or not planets come together in the solar system and fall into an abyss, or whether or not it opens up a portal and allows somebody to come through it. God is in control. God says, I am the invisible, invisible alike. As above, so below. God. All right. Hmm. Well, bow your heads with me, if you will, for a moment of prayer. And get us a scripture vitamin in. I'm going to keep this thing moving forward. Father God, we come before the throne of grace at this time to ask for your blessings. To ask you, Father God, to watch over everybody who's listening and under the sound of my voice. Father God, we know that you are our source, the only source. We know that you sent your son so that he may shed his blood that we all may be saved. And we tell you thank you. We thank you for the present that we have as of today. The new present that you've given us. We thank you for the opportunity to learn of you. We thank you for teaching us and opening up our hearts to show us what it means to have unconditional love for ourselves and humanity. Father God, we ask that you help us to move forward in our knowledge of you, that we may be of use to you, Father God. In your son Jesus' name I pray that your word may go out and touch all the spirits that are necessary that I may be able to relight the next round of lights of the souls that have been saved. Father God, we ask you for increase into the kingdom. We ask that you open up those eyes of those who are asleep, that they may awaken, because it's that time. Father God, we ask that you prepare our hearts 
as we come before the throne of grace, that we may receive your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright, my lovelies. Of course, I gotta put on my glasses. Hopefully halfway through this thing they don't start tipping to one side. But we're gonna move on anyway in Jesus' name. Okay. Got work to do. I ain't got time for all that other. Alright. The last thing that we studied was as far as our book of Enoch, Jubilees and Jasher. The last thing we looked at was chapter 34, verse 2. We're going to recap there and we're going to move forward. Because we got some exciting stuff getting ready to go down. Because God, we're just going to go. Here we go. And therefore I will bring down a deluge upon the earth and will destroy all men. And the whole earth will crumble together into great darkness. Now at this point God has already seen that the, the, the hearts of man wasn't right. And they was worshiping all these false idols and they was doing stuff that God couldn't even speak of. They was carrying on. And like I said last time, they were talking about real... Hellfire party. <clears throat> Here we go. Chapter 33. Behold. From their seed shall arise. Another generation. Much afterwards. But. Of them. Many. Will be very. Insatiable. Which means. They're going to be impossible. They're going to be impossible to satisfy. So they're going to have more babies. And these babies going to be impossible to satisfy. He who raises that generation of insatiable children shall reveal to them the books of your handwriting. So, in other words, this is during the time of seven generation Enoch. Where he had went to heaven. And God had given him the books and the knowledge of what he wanted him to know about the high places. So that he could take it down there and let them know. Y'all really screwing up in a major way. And if y'all don't get this shit together, y'all getting ready to be done for. In a nutshell. So he says that generation of children that's down there, them insatiable kids. You take them this book. Let me give them one more chance. Take them this book. Of your handwritings. Of your father's. To them to whom he must point out guardianship of the world. To the faithful men and workers of my pleasure. Who do not acknowledge my name in vain. So I want you to take this book to the believers. Those who we have turned this earth. See Adam had the earth first. God left Adam on the earth first. He was the first caretaker of planet earth. And that's why God says to those forefathers from Adam. These are your forefathers Enoch. Okay. These were the people to whom guardianship of the earth was given. These were the faithful men. The workers who worked for me. My good pleasure. Who do not acknowledge my name in vanity. In vain. You know if God. You know all that. Yeah. Vanity. And they shall tell another generation. And those others. Having read. Shall be glorified thereafter. More than the first. Which means the ones who first got the word of God. Were glorified. But the ones who are truly going to reap the glory of God more than the ones who first got it are us. 
the ones who follow after. Y'all getting this? See, this is for us. We are the generations to come after Enoch. He says generations. That's way in distant futures. Understand the words. Chapter, he says, before we leave there, it says, And they shall tell another generation, and those others, having read, shall be glorified thereafter. So, once we have read what God has said, we're going to be glorified when we finish more than when Enoch, Enoch and them had it. When he had it back there for Methuselah and all them during that generation. He says generations to come. His word is alive. It never dies. It applies right now. That's the thing about the word of God. It's ever living. This is meant for us. The children of God. This is what they was hiding from us. What God really wanted us to have. Our prosperity. Hours to come. That's what this is about. Y'all need to get excited about the word of God. Not about what's happening out here. No. Don't get excited about that bullshit. That shit can pass away. He done already told you when we hit the 8,000 year. Time means nothing else. That's why you got to wrap your mind around immortality. You got to wrap your mind around the fact that you are an immortal right now. Right now. You're an immortal. You're a divine masculine, divine feminine. You're a star seed. You are who this was meant for. Your awakening. Your knowledge. Your power. Y'all think I'm tripping, I'm sure. But y'all sit down and watch 4400 and flip your mind around what I'm telling you. And then flip your mind around what they're showing you. And then flip around the world we live in. And you will see that you are not off base. God said he was going to start revealing to his children. Tell you that in book of, book of King James Version of the Bible. He says, we could be wiser. They shall be. Generations to come. Weaker in stamina. Wiser in knowledge. Knowing what not to do and what to do. When to do. What you do. Because you are a generation who is led by God. You are those ones who do not take his name in vain. You are the ones who acknowledge his power. So therefore he can endow you with power. But when you don't truly believe in your heart that God can give you power, then guess what? You ain't got no power. My people perish for lack of knowledge, O ye of little faith. You gotta believe in your heart that God is real. He's not just some metaphysical thing that we go through in the ethers. That we just going to pass on by. Because when we die, we die. No, baby. Y'all got that twisted. Completely. You are immortal. You have the breath of God in you. You have a soul. That makes you immortal. This flesh that you live from. He says, when the time is up on this clock. You will go back to the earth and I will lose nothing. Because I will be able to receive you back into my presence. Because you will be back my breath. I'm going to take my breath back. And I'm going to judge it. And I'm going to decide if that was good breath or bad breath. Check that one out. Huh, chapter 36. Now Enoch. I give you the term of 30 days. Hear me. Enoch is given a term of 30 days to spend in your house. And tell 
your sons and all your household that all may hear from my face my face what I told them by you that's why we studying Enoch are y'all getting this Enoch was given 30 days to go back to planet earth through a portal to take the word of God back to his people and tell them so they can know for real from the face of God that this is what I'm trying to tell them. Enoch, take my word back. You got 30 days to make it happen. Whew. 30 days from the mouth of God, who has no concept of time. But he gave him 30 earthly days to take back the word to his sons and his households so that they can hear from my face says God what I gotta say so if you're gonna listen you better listen now cause this is coming from the mouth of Enoch I got 30 days to give it to you you need to get it to go a little something like this that's what we get ready to go so, so we get ready to close this out right now y'all praises be unto God our father the giver of all knowledge and the keeper of our spirit. We're going to go further in what God's assignment for Enoch was so we can understand the word of Enoch. Because this thing is good. I mean, it's good. I mean, it should edify your soul good. Because I'm telling you, this is from the word of God. From the mouth of Enoch as God gave it to Enoch who was seven generation Adam and Enoch was God's friend. So this is like you and your best friend sitting down talking. Only your best friend is God. And he's giving you secrets of the universe and he's telling you shit. And he's going to give you, he your creator though. And out the mouth of your creator, he says, I'm going to give you 30 days. Because I'm going to destroy all mankind. They all got to go. But I'm going to give you 30 days. Get this down there, Enoch. And get it in. Now, God already knows what's going to happen, but I don't. So, we're going to stop right here for this session. We're going to close it out. And I'll see you on the next set. Peace and love to all my divine masculines, divine feminines. I love you. To those who are waking up and those who have yet to wake up, I love you. To the starseed families, I love you. And to the righteous and the elect, you know I love you. God has blessed us all to be in this place at this time to get these vitamins. So we're going to eat all we can eat. We're going to learn God's word. We're going to get this job done just like Enoch had to do during his time. We only got so much time to get it in. So we got to get it in. I need all your hearts open. We're going to give God his thanks and praise. We'll be back to eat some more. Until then, if you like the content of this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you for the next vitamin. Peace and blessings.